Yes, well, the, the work we've been doing over the last two or three years in this laboratory uh, is concerned with a, a new technique in human genetics called, called genetic fingerprinting. What we've managed to develop in, in this lab is a way of uh, looking at the genetic material, the DNA, um, from an individual, say, blood, and to, from that DNA uh, generate an absolutely individual specific pattern, which we call the genetic fingerprint. So this pattern is not only characteristic of an individual, but unlike an ordinary fingerprint, for example, on your thumb, the genetic fingerprint is inherited according to very, very simple and precise rules with quite readily identifiable components coming from the mother and coming from the father into a child. So using these genetic fingerprints, we have, a, a, for example, one of the most powerful methods for establishing the parentage of a child, which can be used, and in fact already has been used, in paternity disputes and in resolving disputes in immigration where there's some doubt as to whether people coming into this country are related to people in this country as claimed or not. The method has a large number of other applications, not just in human genetics, but in animal genetics and animal breeding. And also there are a large number of uses of this technique in the study of inherited diseases and cancer.